Okay, so this video is going to be a bit different from our previous videos. We're going to look at motorhome essentials. Now, this video is aimed more at people who are either new to motorhoming or, you know, they might have been doing it a little while and they just want to check to make sure, you know, see if there's anything that might make their life a little bit easier. Now, some of them are just absolutely essential. If you're going around in a motorhome, you need to have these items. Some of them aren't quite as essential, but I've put them in because I feel they're quite important for various reasons and we'll go through those as I'm picking them up. So that's being said, let's get the first item. Right, so your first item is a level. Now these come in lots of different forms. You can have, obviously this is just your standard kind of level. It's called a box level. You can get bigger ones. You can also buy a motorhome or a caravan specific one where you fix it to an area within the vehicle and you have the two vials on it so you can see your side to side and your front to back for me there's nowhere in my motorhome right now i'm happy to fix that too so i'm working with my box level and basically what this is for is when you're pulling up to pitch a lot of them are level and you're all right but some of them are not and you're going to use this to find your low and high points across the vehicle so that you can then get that level that on a motorhome is done with leveling blocks and we're gonna come back to those later on. I can't pick them up because I'm currently using my motorhome and the leveling blocks are in use. So we'll go and take a look at those later because they are on the essential list. Let's look at the next item. Okay, so this is a big one. This is hose pipe, but it's not any old hose pipe. Okay, for a start, it's a food grade hose pipe. So this is not gonna contaminate the fresh water that we're putting into our motorhome. The good one, there's a couple of reasons I like this one, and this is something you guys should maybe look out for when you're considering buying yours, okay? The reason I bought this one was, first and foremost, I don't have to take all the hose out in order to use it. So if the motorhome is quite close to the water tap, then I only need to pull out of here the amount that I need and the water will quite happily go through the reel. The other thing you're going to need, now some sites will have the tap adapters, most do not. Um, so I always keep a couple of these on the van. I keep that one on there. But this again, for filling up your fresh water, a hose pipe is absolutely essential as you can see this particular one is a very small one i think it's 12 meters in total um so i've not found myself in a situation regardless of what side the tap is on where this hasn't been able to reach to the van absolute essential you ain't getting water on your motorhome without a hose pipe which is going to lead me on to something else water related and that is this little fella but here now this little fella is a connection to go on your water inlet now you can just put the end of the hose pipe into your hose but you know you've got some of these tanks go up to about 150 liters you could be stood there for quite a while as you're doing that the great thing with this little adapter is that you take your locked cap off and you put this in its place then I can just connect my hose straight onto you and I can just leave it be and get other stuff ready while I'm waiting for my tank to fit when I've just got to site. About 10 quid, not essential, but I love it. Wouldn't be without it. Let's look at the next thing. <clears throat> now, obviously you need an electric hookup cable. Now, the standard for an electric hookup cable is 25 meters. I always recommend getting the 25 meter one because a lot of sites, when they're sorting their electrics out for the pitches, they know and they work within that 25 meter rule. So if you've only got a 15 meter rule, uh, electric hookup cable, you may find yourself in a situation where I have seen it happen, where your cable isn't gonna go from the electric point to your motorhome. So you want 25 meter electric hookup cable. I recommend one of these as well. And all this is, is a three pin to a 110 adapter. And all this allows us to do, if, if we're going to visit friends and we might be staying on their drive for the night, 
um, and we want some electric and we're nicking off our friends they can plug this just into a normal plug within the house we plug our electric hookup cable into here and we can run it to the motorhome mm, again this is one of the other ones it's not quite an essential but very very handy to have they're only a couple of quid if you look on amazon always keep one in the garage okay this is an obvious one but one that is if not probably the most important one and that is your fire safety we have got a fire extinguisher and a fire blanket with your extinguishers you get the brackets you can place them anywhere i haven't had a chance to do my one yet you can do the same with the fire blanket always check even if you've already got one on your motorhome Go and have a look, see if there's an expiry date on it. Make sure it is within date. We never want to use them, but if we ever do need them, we want to make sure they're there. Here's the next item. Anti-skid mats. Again, as you can see, they're still in the packaging. We've never needed them. But what these are for is, if you're on a grass pitch and it's been particularly wet and basically you get stuck these hopefully will get you out of the sticky situation so this you just place in front or behind your wheels depending on what direction you want to go there's two in here so you obviously you put them on your front wheels because that's where your drive is if you're rear wheel drive you put them on the back but this is simply to get you out of a mud sticky situation hopefully you never need to use them but it's one of those items I would rather have on the motorhome and not need them than need them and not have them. So let's look at the next item. Okay, this is just a portable power station. It's got a lithium battery in it. There's a lot of reviews of these kind of things online. And basically all it does is like, before you go away, you can charge this up, it takes a couple of hours. And you have, like on this one, we've got three USB ports. We've got a type C, we've got a torch. It's got a built-in inverter. So we've got two 230 sockets on the back and a 12 volt cigarette lighter socket as well. Now for us, we got three kids. They've got three iPads. Wife's got a MacBook. I've got an iPad. We've got our phones. Now we have got the leisure battery and the solar panel on the vehicle. But if we're going a good few days off grid, we will 100% always take this with us because it does take that pressure off the leisure battery having to supply all of that and to be fair we've gone a good while off grid and never run out of power this one is a super brand i like this one because it's quite small it's quite lightweight um, it charges up quite quickly and we got some sort of fast chargers on here but like i said earlier plenty of reviews on the different sort of types of these Go and take a look at them. Wouldn't leave home without it. Now, some of the other essentials for motorhomes we're using. So I'm going to take you guys off our stand and we're going to go take a look at them. What do you think, Lev? Sorted. Let's go. Okay, so we're going to go back to something we touched a little bit on earlier, and that's your leveling blocks. These are your leveling blocks. You get two in a pack. These, you get different size ones as well. These are the Fiamma ones. You've got three increment levels on them. Now on this particular pitch, the si one side of the vehicle was sloping down. So we've got one on the back, one on the front, as you can see here. Now, as we're looking out here, I'm gonna show you the next one. And that's right here. Wing mirror, protectors, boots, socks, you would have called all kinds of things. Not essential, but I think you can see why I've put it within the video. So you can get these in a couple of colours, like you can get them in white, black and chrome. And they literally just clip over your existing wing mirrors. Now obviously if you get clipped by a lorry or another vehicle, that's going to take the brunt of the impact and hopefully might save the rest of the wing mirror because they're over 300 quid to replace and i think aesthetically as well instead of having the black plastic there i just think that looks just a little bit nicer now there is another essential that's on my list that's hiding right behind me and you guys can already see it 
as your thermal protectors. So this particular one is one that wraps all the way around the vehicle. So if you come around the front with me, now this particular model has sit down so we can pull this flap down and effectively have a window at the front if we want to let some extra light in at the front or we can zip them up like this now this adds this is good for a couple of reasons now we got three kids so we don't like to use any blinds inside because they're quite delicate so this for us acts as a, a curtain so it protects that vision from the front but it's also a thermal barrier and what that's, that does a couple of things so firstly if it's hot day like today it's gonna stop excess heat coming through if it's a cold day it's gonna stop excess heat within the van coming outside they're also meant to stop vapor building up on the inside window so you're not going to get that condensation running down the windows range in price they range from about 50 quid to 200 quid it's something i would say spend a bit of money on because the cheaper ones don't last very long and as they say you buy cheap you buy twice okay so some more essentials is your security for the motorhome and we've got that right up there on the list now one of the things we've got that's called a pedal locking system you get there's a few different brands out there you've got ate um we found for the price and it's absolutely solid i think this one was about 60 pounds and basically this goes underneath the brake pedal and the clutch pedal this plate goes on top and then that will go on top of there and you just lock that up anything that can deter the thieves do it 60 quid that would take some doing to get off other elements of security that we've got on our van is we've got a phantom alarm and a mobilizer. Now, the alarm, they've quite cleverly connected that to the original cab key, so it's on my normal vehicle key, so that when I lock the doors with the key, it will actually activate the alarms and whatnot. Now, part of the alarm systems, I'm not going to go into it and show it all around for obvious reasons, but you have sensors on a lot of your doors, windows, um, and sensors then up the front, which you can see just above the rear view mirror there, that just give it that all round protection and care. Our third bit of security is a tracker. And I'm definitely not showing you where that one is, but we have got a tracker fitted on you. Um, with the trackers, you can set up something called a geofence. Now, what a geofence is, is that you set an area that your motorhome is in. Once, you say, you've put it into storage. If that tracker comes outside of that area, you'll get alerted straight away. So, obviously, as you know, time is key. Obviously, if they do get it, even get further away with it, you're going to know exactly where that is. There are other types of securities you can have. You've got your steering locks, wheel locks. Um, obviously, more the better, in my opinion. But security is definitely on our essentials list. Okay, so last on the essentials, we've got toilet chemicals. Okay, these come in various different formats you've got your liquids you've got tablets and these simply go into your toilet cassette this one here is just Gelson organic uh, we like this one it's a little less potent to the environment than the blue and that just gets rid of your odors gases but also helps things break down in there if you're going to use your toilet ones or twos you absolutely need this last on your list is your gas obviously hob Heating, hot water. Now, if you're on hookup, 100% get that heating and hot water on the electric and use the site's electric. Hobs have to be run off the gas in most. Sometimes you get, and quite a lot of the new ones, you do get those electric plates. But anyway, this is a propane gas bottle. You can put butane in here as well, which is the blue bottles, but you will find most of us go to the propane because it's a lot more efficient for various reasons. That's the end of the essentials video. I may have missed some stuff if I have put them in the comments like I said earlier this is just aimed at people who are considering getting a motorhome just bought a motorhome 
just try and help you out. It's an all-in-one place to see all the little bits you want to get. If you have any questions, feel free to say, put them in the comments. But until next time, we'll see you in a bit.